move on to our second story of the day. Divya, what do you got? So for the second story, this is really recent and it happened with Facebook. So Facebook claims that it had a it had an outage of six plus hours where the DNS appeared to be the symptom for the root cause of Facebook's global failure. And uh, hours later, Facebook finally came back. Um, I also wanna mention that Instagram and WhatsApp were down as well. Also, what's interesting is this happened just one day before the Facebook whistleblower testimony was uh, was going to come out. So what do you guys think about this one? Shu, you may comment on BGP for exactly one minute. <laughs> I have nothing to comment about on BGP. I was, uh, I was mostly uh, thought it was funny because Facebook has tried to be a single sign-on provider forever. Um, and part of the story is that the people trying to fix the problems were not able to get into the building. And I kind of suspect mm -hmm. that they are trying to eat their own dog food and make the employees tie everything into their own single sign-on system. And if that's down, their own employees could not get into uh, the building. So I noticed that in the that story pretty well, funny. Yeah. Is that all their internal accounts were down as well. So it made communication really difficult, right? They, they've tried to make Oculus require Facebook. And I'm wondering if the employee badges were also tied into their single sign on system. One of the things I wanted to ask you guys is, um, so WhatsApp was down here, as Divya just said, which um, was not a huge deal in the States. Is it a huge deal in Argentina? Because I know it's a, it's a much bigger deal globally. Like I have family overseas. Uh, WhatsApp is a much bigger deal with them. But was it a big deal where you guys are? Huge deal. The whole country went crazy. Yeah. Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> yeah. That happened in India too. I was trying to explain my wife that uh, in the U.S., WhatsApp, it's not really widely used, that you guys text more than you use WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. And it was a concept that she was, that it was really hard for her to fathom because in here it's all WhatsApp. I mean, it's mostly due to the cost of uh, texting because yeah. nowadays, I mean, companies will give you those for free, but until not that long ago, they will actually charge you for the SMS. So everybody would use uh, WhatsApp. And I do understand that it's pretty much like that. I know that it's like that in India, like you mentioned, Divya, and, and it's like that in Europe as well. I mean, it seems that the States might be the exception. I'm yeah, sure in Hong Kong, my relatives are uh, use WhatsApp, and I did not receive any texts from them or messages from them during the outage. Mm -hmm. Not going to complain about that, but <laughs> I'm sure it's pretty much the, the same for everyone. Um, I've heard this was scary for many people uh, because we're so dependent on smart devices uh, to do almost anything. Mm -hmm. So I guess some, some people felt like uh, the world was about to collapse on itself or something wow. <laughs> um, just to to, to be out of the grid uh, for a couple of hours. Uh, and then for, for some other people, this was a, a, a relief in, in some way because we don't take a break from, from this way of communicating. Since for, we haven't taken a break for, for a long time. Um, and I, I guess I got a little anxious myself <laughs> to be disconnected for a while, but uh, I don't know. It was okay because I knew at least my doors still worked. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are beyond repair by now. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking for us Argentinians. Uh, actually, I'm speaking for myself. Uh, <laughs> beyond repair, I mean, if somebody were to say to me, let's go to a place to have a holiday where there's no internet, mm -hmm. I would go, no way. <laughs> mm -hmm. No way. Even, even if it is for just a day. I mean, yeah. you need to have access online. But uh, again, 